Hi, my name is Paul Jun, and for today's Hippo Short, we're going to talk about the key characteristics that distinguish between primary and permanent teeth. Now, if a child presents with an avulsed tooth and the parents and you are unsure if this is a primary or permanent tooth, here are three characteristics that distinguish between the two. First, look at the color of the tooth because primary teeth tend to be white compared to permanent teeth, which tend to be a shade of yellow. As you can see in this picture, the lower central incisors are permanent teeth and they are a shade of yellow compared to the surrounding primary teeth. The second thing to look for are the presence of mamelons. Mamelons are bumps on the edge of the incisors that are present in newly erupting permanent teeth. Take a look again at this picture. The lower central incisors are permanent teeth and you can see the bumps or the mamelons that indicate that this is likely to be a permanent tooth compared to the surrounding primary teeth. Lastly, take a look at the root of the tooth if you have an avulsed tooth, because baby teeth or primary teeth have very short roots compared to permanent teeth, which have very long roots, as you can see in this picture. The last piece of advice I'll share with you is remember the number six. At six months is when you generally expect a baby to actually have their first primary tooth erupt, as opposed to at six years is when you generally expect a child to begin to lose or shed their first primary tooth. And that wraps it up for this Hippo Short. If you want more information, go on over to hippoeducation.com. My name is Paul Jun, and I'll see you next time.